Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2 Unveiled, where last time we took care of the first Lost World level. And today we're going to be continuing on with uh, you know, whatever the next one happens to be. Uh, and of course we're going to have to travel to World 3 now to visit that. But yeah, very interesting level last time. Definitely had uh, you know quite a gimmick going on there with the control reversal barrels. I wonder if we're going to see like every... Lost World level revolves around some sort of gimmick? Uh, no idea what to expect. And uh, yes, this one is actually in the place of a uh, Black Ice Battle. Not that kind of clearing to the left. Uh, again, overall, just kind of a weird map going on here. And I don't think I really mentioned it too much, but I do like the red color palette going on here. Very nice. But Crimson Cavern. Just what do we have to expect from this? Is it still an ice level? I'm guessing it probably will be. An underwater ice level with an immediate time limit. Destroy them all. Three, three fruits? F, F, oh, three faults allowed, okay. <laughs> little, little bit of a, a mush thing going on there. Okay, so we have invincibility. Is it still going? Okay. So that's a skip. But we could not destroy them all now because we've skipped part of the level. So I'm assuming, oh, I meant to uh, do a roll there. This might also make it impossible now because we've destroyed some enemies. And wow, that invincibility did not last long. Uh, I actually, mm, I'm tempted to get up and turn the volume up just a little bit because it's tough not knowing, uh, you know, if I can hear the invincibility sound or not just when it's actually run out. So I might do that in a second. Probably, you know, whenever I stop yapping and I can do it off recording. But, like, yeah, I guess those signs probably somehow relate to the DK coin then. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, don't forget there's ice physics as well. I'm just kind of fumbling around with this, but I guess this will allow us to do it the real way. I think we're probably supposed to have invincibility for this then. Uh, but yeah, let's just kind of not pay too much attention to the time limit. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's what's wrong with me today and, uh, you know, my controls. But yes, okay, so yeah, let's just explore a little. And yeah, it might be the ice physics throwing me off. I don't know. Kind of, kind of just flying everywhere. And can we do anything with this? No, so I'm actually going to now go up and turn up the volume. And we are back. Uh, so yeah, you know, if you haven't been following me for too long, you might not know that I pretty much do all of my gaming on actual consoles, and I don't really record off of emulators. Exception to that would have been like when I did the Mario Advance 4 e-reader levels before they were available in the Wii U eShop version. I actually had to, of course, play a ROM with a save file there, and it looks like that jump is probably something you have to make is Diddy? Yeah, there's just some, some weird platforming going on here that just does not feel right for whatever reason. But we'll figure it out. But yeah, I guess I was right about, like, what's the best way to deal? Like, if you kind of go under, but then you have to do a better jump there. Okay. But yeah, again, another kind of gimmicky level. And I don't know what is up with the controls. Can you start select without beating it? No. I feel like I'm holding up sometimes and it like doesn't want to register as it. And is Diddy high enough of a jumper to make that? No, he's not. Okay, so interesting all around. Does that mean it's not a very long level? Or again, it might be like broken into two halves. And again, the signs destroy them all and you get three faults. What does three faults mean? Like you can take three hits? Or like you destroy them all, but like you can miss three of them? I feel like there's definitely a larger mystery at play here. So, and then they even give you this shortcut barrel. Which lets you skip part of the level, but then of course you can't destroy them all if you do that. Which makes me think that the destroy them all is probably, again, just related to either getting the DK coin or, like, getting access to the bonus game. So this is the farthest we've gotten now. Uh, you could bounce on that zinger. And again, of course, invincibility barrels don't last all that long. Uh, but we're not going to worry too much about destroying them all. Let's just actually figure out what the level has in store. No invincibility barrel to defeat them? I mean, it's so like if I destroy them all... Does that mean I have to grab this barrel and go back? But that invincibility barrel, once again, lasted like nothing. Okay, I get this. Huh. But yeah, destroy them all. I mean, there's splitting paths. It doesn't seem like there's enough invincibility barrels. I feel like I might be missing something. Three. Like, it does say faults, right? It almost looks like it says fruit. And wow, I can really hear that clock ticking now, because again, this is a level with like a... Actually, it's funny, this is the same music as uh, Clapper's Cavern had, which really allows you to hear that clock ticking sound effect. Where the bonus game music 
just has so much going on that I don't normally hear it. And I cannot change partners on, I guess these platforms aren't big enough. And for whatever reason, it's like, oh, but I could do a throw. Okay. That, that makes sense. But, you know, you're wasting time by doing that. So I guess Diddy's probably the guy you want to have, I feel, for a lot of this. Just because he's such a better jumper. And that's okay. Rush that one is a good strat. Is it going into the arrow barrels that cancels out invincibility? Or just does it, like, not last very long? I'm not entirely sure. Like, let's just... No, it still literally lasted, like, two seconds. Now, if I go into this, does it just, like, skip all the shenanigans then? No, it goes into that guy, so... Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something somewhere. Like, over there, we saw that, anyway. Oh, oh, oh no, I got clipped on a corner somehow of, uh, of that wall. I could have just gone to the left, but I figured, okay, I'll go to the right and jump to the left, but the game obviously did not like that. So yeah, we definitely have things to figure out. Uh, a race of sorts? Three them all. Three? You know the A definitely looks like an R. F-A-U-L-T. Yeah, it definitely says false. <laughs> a little bit of a mushed uh, wording there, but... Uh, yeah, the question just is, is like, you know, what is the definition of a fault? I don't think it probably means, you know, the Earthquake version. It literally wants you to take your Super Nintendo and go down to uh, Los Angeles. But okay. Um, ugh. And I mean, if it means, to, you know, like taking hits, it's not like there's DK barrels all over the place that will allow us to take a whole bunch of extra hits. So I'm not entirely sure what it's demanding of us here. And like, again, Okay, no, I was like, if I rush it, can I make that? And the invincibility would defeat the zinger. Is that just like a, you know, a treat for you if you don't take any hits and you have both Kongs at that point? Yeah, it definitely gives me the impression that I'm not quite understanding exactly what's going on here. Especially because, you know, there's definitely enemies that I will not be able to defeat. Just because of how, you know, sparse invincibility barrels are. But okay, let's see what we got here. Nope, I was trying to do a thing where I stuck underneath that. Yeah, doing a, a cartwheel under the hook, but then still making it up to the platform. It's kinda nasty, and then you just run into him anyway. Beautiful. Like, that guy's not hard to defeat. But then, like, I mean, so this guy we can not get because I messed it up? Like, there's... I mean, like, why is there even the shortcut barrel anyway? Oh, and why? Okay, you can make that with Dixie. I mean, I guess just if you're not going for the whatever bonus it is you get... Hey, once again, I think I'm stuck now. And there's not even going to be any way to... Oh, okay. So, yeah, we can just do that if we get rid of the zingers. Got it. Like, I guess that's just a barrel you can use to, to save time if you're not concerned with defeating all of the enemies. Huh. Of course, many speedrunners are playing this hack, so it makes sense that there's been a lot of secrets in it that relate to, you know, beating things really quickly. And I can appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I guess what we're probably going to do is not concern ourselves with all the enemies or whatever the heck three faults means. And we're just going to try and beat the level. And then once we've scouted that whole thing out, then we can worry about other stuff. Okay, but whatever, we don't care because somewhere around here is this. And it's nice too because, uh, man, I don't know what it is with me today. And not being able to jump properly. I think it's just that these platforms are weird shaped, plus there's ice physics. Plus, just whatever, for whatever reason, I'm not in top form today. But hey, I say that every day, and we usually get through it anyway. Ah, yeah, that's just an awkward thing to time. Then we get here, and like, that's pretty much all you can do with that. It almost makes you wonder, like, why bother putting a, a zinger there at all? Uh, and then these ones, like, I have no idea how you would defeat. And I guess I just slid off the side there again. Okay, so we're here. Like, I don't think there's any way... Okay, wow, that actually worked. To, to get that zinger that was down there. That's a... Hmm. If I had both partners, you could just skip this, which would be really nice. Oh, crap, I have a time limit, too. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what does this do? Okay, yeah, that's, that's a trap. That's also a trap. Ah, I was like, don't go too far to the left, and then I still did it anyway. Uh, and then we're severely running out of time by that point. So, even though we're not defeating all the enemies, we still have to pick up the pace. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a thing that's going to have to be learned here, but I don't think it's going to be that tough. I mean, the biggest question is how do you defeat all the enemies when it seems like there's a lot of places where, like, I don't even know how you would defeat certain zingers and such uh, because there's no invincibility barrels around. 
And yeah, falling there is definitely like the biggest time waster, I think. And I just need to get a bit better at these awkward jumps and slipping off platforms, of course. I wish there was a start select. That would be really nice. Just because, you know, once you've messed up, you kind of just want to start from the beginning. I mean, obviously, just like, you know, in a speed run, too. If you mess up at the beginning, you know, just slap that reset button and start the timer and such over again. Okay, so rushing that is the key. Don't worry about going under the hook. Just, uh, you know, go, go as fast as you can there. Got it. You, we're going to have to defeat you for defeating them all. But otherwise, but yeah, see, like, I still don't know what, like, I could go backwards with this barrel. What is with this? Like, I don't know. I feel like there's there's definitely still things that need to be figured out, but this part's not that bad. Like, yeah, that's not that bad. We definitely have a lot more time here this time than we did last time. We're not gonna get hit by that guy. Whoa, I still have invincibility. That's a really long invincibility barrel, actually. And, and see, what happens is when you land, the sliding carries you to the left. And if you don't press jump in the exact millisecond you land, you end up sliding into him, so I just had bad timing there. Wow, very interesting level, and we definitely would have had more time there, so maybe we would have been able to make it to the end, but I still fumble around way too much in the beginning. There's just that one awkward spot at the beginning that, again, I think we're getting better at, and I'm not going to worry about all the enemies, so we get to do this massive skip, which is nice. I feel like, oh, I should always switch to Diddy. But because, you know, it's just the way it always seems to work, is that I always have Dixie when we start the levels. Blech. Uh, how many lives do we have anyway? I, I, you can't even really check that, can you? Okay. I'm actually going to do a little bit of life farming, and then we're going to come back, and we're actually going to make sure that we're using Diddy in front, uh, because he seems to be the best, especially at getting by those beginning parts. And the life farming spot's just right here, actually, so that's pretty nice. Alright, 25? Maybe enough? I don't know, but if we do need more, it is right there anyway. Incredible, you found all of it. You may go. I mean, we're technically still looking for some stuff, but I mean, I guess if you're talk uh, talking about the uh, Club of Coins, which for some reason still counts as DK Coins, I guess we did find all of them. But yeah, okay, Crimson Cavern, water, ice, but it's interesting because, like, why does it start underwater? The water never seems to matter again. It's kind of weird, but okay, so yeah, that was a little bit of an ice problem there. Uh, but yeah, Diddy all around, as we've established many times, is faster, jumps higher, more nimble, definitely the kind of guy you want in a level like this, and that's why we just lost him, and now, <laughs> Tixie, yeah, I feel like we definitely want Diddy for as much as possible, and I don't know, like, there might be a second half, maybe this is a level without a checkpoint, and, you know, we can just get through it simply, that would be pretty nice, but okay, so here, here, here. And then, mm, I don't know. I mean, I literally rolled, so I'm not sure what it wanted there. Yeah, so, I mean, I tried to do the whole rush strategy there, and that didn't seem to want to work, so... Uh, it feels like potluck sometimes, but it's probably, again, one of those things where we will get the timing eventually, we just don't have it quite yet. Okay, so here again, this part's not so bad. Like, you do this, you kind of got to do a little bit of a dance with this guy. But then you get up here, and then you just immediately hold up to the right for that one, and then, okay, we're here with like 50 seconds this time. Definitely our best we've done, I think. Yeah, and that one you want to rush, but then it doesn't last long enough to get that guy. So you really just kind of have to make sure you do the proper landing there, but it's okay. Yeah, so we could possibly only be like halfway there, when there was a point where we were at that point with like 10 seconds left. It almost maybe felt like it was the end, but we're getting progressively better. Uh, we're getting deeper in, with more time, so, yeah. Feeling pretty good. So I think I actually am understanding probably a little bit, not this, but what we're about to experience after this guy. This part here, because you get the invincibility barrel to the left, I think, yeah, it's probably expecting you to go back to the right and then defeat those two zingers. And then all of these guys, you would destroy with this invincibility barrel instead of jumping into this barrel immediately and then going up here and having some invincibility you would instead use that invincibility time to defeat the enemies that were down below i think that's probably what's intended now this is kind of weird but okay i mean that worked i guess and I mean, we don't need to defeat them all on this run why would i go like is that just for <clears throat> yeah this is this is strange and then over here okay sure why not so we'll go to the left We'll get this invincibility barrel, which, 
I'm gonna listen to. Still lasting. Okay, no, not anymore. And then up here. And this is one of these awkward spots. You can get an invincibility barrel down there. This is giving me a cask task. Can we go into a door? No, we can't? Wait, what? Oh, so maybe it's not for a bonus game? You actually do have to defeat them all to beat the level? And this, the target doesn't appear, so that's it for us, I guess. R.I.P. Dixie. I mean, I like how it gives the, uh... Oh. And now we're back at the begin... Oh, it's like a warp barrel room. Okay. And then... And then it's back to the beginning and we get to listen to the victory music the whole time. So it, it just gives us another chance. But okay, we actually have to defeat them all. And I still don't understand the whole three faults thing. Oh, that might mean like you can miss three? But why wouldn't it just say three misses then? And now there's no sound at all. Okay, so... And I still can't switch partners on any of these thin platforms. But okay, we got Diddy. He's the guy who we want, but I guess not. Alright, so... Again, I guess the what we'll do now is we'll just try to beat the level with all of them, but what's with the DK coin then? I can't start select after doing that. No, I can't. Yeah, so do I still have to look for a bonus game hidden somewhere? And there's really no way to die if you just, like, want to give up on this run. I mean, I know it's still possible, so that is the reason for this barrel in case you fall. Then you can still get by even if you don't have the zinger to bounce on. All right, let's practice this. Let's practice this. I mean, yeah, faster is better. So, like, hmm. I feel like a little bit of a hesitation is what you want just to get him to start throwing the hook. And then you want to jump in there. But very interesting. So we've made it to the end with time to spare. Uh, but, of course, there were a few nooks and crannies we didn't, uh, you know, explore. Because I figured that the enemies were just for bonus. But, no, it looks like they're required. Uh, and then, yeah, how does the DK coin factor into all that? Interesting. Very interesting. So it's probably just going to take some practice here, and uh, I'll show you any significant progress that is made. Nope, still didn't get that quite right, but all right, I think we've defeated every enemy so far. So I'm going to assume that three faults means you can miss three enemies. Uh, so I guess you can just strategically choose... You know, like, which three enemies those are. So okay, that's the first time we've actually defeated those guys. Maybe you have to, like, I don't understand how you could ever defeat all these. I feel like maybe these are the three that you can't defeat. Because if I do this... Oh, I should have kept that guy alive to get back up, probably. Yes, so you don't want to defeat that flitter. Okay. See, I definitely feel like... Because there's no way you have enough time to defeat all these. And no, I still can't start select. So that's it. I think that those are probably three that you have to skip. That's what it means by by three faults. So remember, Andrew, don't defeat that flitter on the way down and I could have bounced up there and actually still would have had a significant amount of time to try the, the later half of the level, which we of course have much less practice with. So I'm assuming it's still going to take a few tries before we get that all worked out. But overall, this isn't the worst thing. And yeah, this guy is just awkward on the platform he's on. Oh, and then uh, that icicle part that sticks down there, it does have some solidness to it. It's unfortunately not just like, you know, past throughable background graphic. So it always messes up with the cartwheel too. But okay, it's so like this, that, and then, and then this part's not really all that much trouble. That's the worst part right there. And then this barrel's really easy, just hold up into the right, except, all right, so, that fault there probably makes this impossible, but we're going to practice anyway. So yeah, then you go around the flitter, which is kind of awkward, and I probably could have gotten that zinger that, that's uh, doing a circular pattern down there too. So that would actually only mean that I missed two zingers here, which would be kind of nice. But otherwise, I don't actually have to get every single enemy in order to successfully beat this, I guess. Okay, so that defeats you. Hmm... Crooks are the worst. Ah, oh, just, just barely ran out of time there. It's not fun falling down there. It's, it's like you can't really see what you're falling into. Um, yeah, I mean, you can memorize it, of course, which is what we're going to end up doing. But that initial fall, it's like, where am I even going? All right, so once again, we've probably botched this run, but we're gonna do it for practice sake anyway, because 
I really want to figure out how to beat this part without taking a hit. I just... It's just so bad feeling. Especially, again, because you have that little nook in the top, the... Or, you know, that... Like, the piece that sticks down. Which just makes any attempt to do, like, a nice roll feel really bad. Hmm. <laughs> of course, sliding off there. I think, I, yeah, again, I've gotten better to the, uh, adjusted to the ice physics since we started a few minutes ago. How long have we been playing now, anyway? About 25 minutes. So not too bad. And again, I don't think we're going to be spending all day on this level, but there is definitely the mystery surrounding, you know, where the DK coin is in all of this. Unless it's just like, you know, freebie DK coin if you're successful. Hopefully it's not like you can't miss any enemies and then that would give you the DK coin. I don't see how you can get all the zingers in that one part, but wow, Dixie just uh, doesn't know how to jump. And again, there's no way to just like start select and restart the level. You literally have to destroy yourself. <sighs> Alright, well let's just stay here and contemplate life for a minute. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even if I could just beat the level normally and that doesn't give you the DK coin, at least then I would have the ability to start and select. But this is actually just going to take us to that weird room, right? What if the DK coin was hidden in here somewhere? It's very awkward. <laughs> just hearing the victory music when it's not actually a victory. And then, yeah, that brings us back to here. It's funny because this level doesn't ever normally have, like, a warp barrel. So what room would that be exactly? I have no idea. Um, so do that, and let's switch. No, you can't switch on a slope, I guess? All these things I don't normally think about. Oh my gosh, I was like, what if the invincibility time is being, you know, still draining even while I'm switching partners, and it looks like that's exactly what happened there. So in this case, I think that's enough of that. I mean, one time I just rushed it, and like, it worked out, so... I don't remember exactly what I did at that point. I mean, I could go back and, like, review the footage, I guess, but it seems like a lot of effort for something that shouldn't be that difficult, like... And then that's the worst when you didn't, you know, you run into him, too. And then I can't even get back down and get him. So this will probably be another practice run, or not, because, again, invincibility lasts, like, three seconds in this game. Uh, it's just getting those little pieces worked out that would go a long way, I think. Oh, oh, oh and then... I should have rolled. I should have rolled the right, but okay. So, I mean, that shows us how it's possible to do it with Diddy, though, which is nice. So, we've missed one so far. So, keep that note in your mind. Okay, so we got both of those guys, which is nice. This guy here, you gotta do a jump. And then this again, do the dance. So, one so far. One, 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 one. Oh my gosh, I'm so used to having Dixie here that I thought I could just jump out of that barrel and float, but no. Uh, so, yeah, we gotta account for that as well. But with this, I can then go here, down here, and get you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, again, I tried to do too much, and I paid the price for it. You don't have to get the, uh, the porcupine guy on the way down, because, of course, you can still defeat him even when you're not invincible. So, ignore that. But my strategy was also, you know, because you jump down, you don't really know where you are. Kind of, you know, take it step by step, but... That seems kind of slow and unproductive as well. And man, the, that clock, that's right, not just the clock, but also the invincibility time as well. Still running, even when you're switching partners, is very interesting. Like, they could have been nice to put a pause on it or something. Because, I mean, enemies and stuff stop moving when you're switching partners, right? So, it's just weird that the rest of the universe still seems to kind of run. But can we get two for two here now with the... With the crook. And this guy, again, don't like the feeling that that guy gives. Yeah! I did the jump, and I'm like, no, Andrew, you're not supposed to do the jump. You're supposed to do the roll. But then I tried to do the roll and didn't have enough time. Okay, so now we're back to the old, usual, doing this as Dixie part, which isn't that bad. It doesn't feel that bad doing this as Dixie. Like, I don't really mind it. It just feels like it'd probably be faster with Diddy. So the question is, if in the end... You know, by not going faster with Diddy, we're going to pay the price for it. But okay, so I have Dixie, so I can do that. Um, so we have to avoid that flitter. And then... Ugh, again, just by like a millisecond. But I feel like, again, assuming that the fault theory is correct, uh, it's nice to have, you know, if I can defeat that zinger going in the circle. And maybe have a little bit more leeway later on. See, that's how you do it, but unfortunately I've wasted some time now. But again, like, we have stuff to learn still, so I'm not overly concerned. And that's the guy who doesn't stay down for long until he does the second one. Um, can I switch? Yes, okay, so on that angle I could actually do a little bit of a switch. I don't mind at all having Dixie for this part. So we'll use her here. 
avoid that guy. And then this one's the easiest one. You just hold up to the right, do a float there. Oh no! But actually, because... Okay, okay, if I can keep both partners here, we're good. Okay, so... Alright, I'm very... Oh no, 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 no! I was gonna go to the left, and I was like, Oh, but there's a barrel I can just go into, and then... I don't know, I don't know what if it's my controller. You know, that, that's the worst thing you can start doing, right? Is blame your controller for your poor playing, but... I don't know, something feels weird about my uh, up direction today. And I was trying to jump there, but it was not working either. Darn controller! I don't know. I don't know what the heck that just was. Ugh. Oh my gosh, and I missed the barrel. There's just really nothing you can do if you want to retry. I hate that. Uh, like, I mean, we've seen in levels before a start selectability. That would have been really nice to have here. Uh, so I don't know why it wasn't added in. Especially, you know, there's those signs at the beginning too. Maybe the, you know, all the all the sign graphics were being used. There wasn't any more room in the in the level tile set for a for a start select or whatever. But yeah, it definitely would have been nice to be able to start select even without beating the level. Okay, okay, okay. This is the most perfect run you can have up to this point, which is pretty nice. That's on you. Get to here, and I mean, I don't mind having Dixie for this part, so it's nice that you can switch there. If you miss those guys, that's a big problem, is then you're missing two. Um, so we go through here, and we do this. So we've actually gotten past this point, and we know that even if we defeat the Flitter, like, we actually still can't make up for it. Okay, so there you go. So we've missed two so far, which we can deal with. Wow, okay, that actually worked somehow. And we still have this Flitter even though we don't technically need it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How does this work again? Where's the barrel? Okay. This is a big waste of time, but we're still learning, we're still learning, we can jump over you, that's the trick. Um, okay, do that into you, oh shoot, wait, was I going to the wall there a little bit at first? No, it's just kind of, you clip for some reason. Like, why do you need that barrel if you can bounce on these guys? Mmm, that's the trick, it's like, alright, let's go fast, but nope, that second one turns around, so that you can't just, like, smoothly roll through them, of course. Okay, I feel like we weren't fast enough because we had some kind of... You know, not perfect moments there, but progress is good. I like this progress. Oh, well, wow, okay, so you can kind of go, okay, that's great. I think that's probably what I did the first time. Then, you know, I, for some reason, always, mm, I don't know about that hit. I feel like I was totally in the right. Uh, that totally should have counted for me. But yeah, so you go over that hook. It's just it's just kind of a weird position all around. But okay, so we go up here and around this guy. Uh, now we only have one partner. Let's hope we can still do this. Like, if we just go down here. Oh, no, no, no. That's probably going to cost me. Totally going to cost me. Got caught in the, the completely useless gap there. I mean, I guess you needed to jump back up. But yeah, that was going really well until that happened. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Oh, oh, you can bounce on that guy. It never seemed like it was possible. From, like, the angle that you jump on him from. But I guess if you get it just right, you could potentially even save, like, another second or so there. But okay, so we're good. We're good. And again, circle guy here. Going up through here is probably, like, the easiest part of it all, really. These directional barrels, you know, don't require too much effort. Okay, then we go down here. Nope. No, okay, so that's actually... So... We're missing three now. We cannot miss another guy, or else the level is impossible. But that brings us here, where we do a thing like that, and then we're gonna go around this crook. That's good. That's good. And I don't get what the point of that directional barrel is, and I slid into that one, but... I wonder if there's, like, a secret associated with that directional barrel? Was I going through the wall, or was I just kind of clipping into it? There's a lot of weird places in, Don in the uh, Donkey Kong Country series where it looks like you're kind of clipping into a wall, even though you're not really... Uh, but yeah, just gotta get a little bit better at those later parts of the level, which of course require that we always rebeat the beginning parts of the level to get back and practice them. Uh, but the beginning's not that bad anymore, especially as we've gotten, you know, parts with the crooks refined. I say as I just totally crap the bed and fall back to the beginning of the level, but you know what, this probably wasn't the winning run anyway.
This is a really nasty jump with Dixie. Like, it's just like, why does it have to be so mean? Could it not have been lowered by like a pixel so that she could get up there just a little bit easier? Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong in terms of the jump. Like, I'm waiting until the last second. Like, that time I know I kind of fell off the edge a little bit, but... Like, I just want to get back up there so I can destroy myself and try again. I don't think that's too much to ask. Okay, wow. Thank you. Again, that's just such an awkward... Wow, that's funny! I'm floating, even though it's totally not the right graphics. But yeah, that's just a really terrible spot to try and land there and then roll into that guy's face. While... You know, before he turns around on that really kind of just like a sliver of a platform. But yeah, I'm kind of just destroying myself now when I don't, you know, do well enough in the beginning. Because there's probably not too much point. I mean, I could still try and get a little bit farther and I guess practice those parts, but I'd rather just try and do... Oh, why do I... It's so... It's just not in, you know, my mind that while you're switching partners, the time for invincibility keeps going. It'd be like if when you pause Super Mario Brothers, if the star power kept going. Very, very strange all around. But okay, let's get our groove back here. Oh, 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 there's the skip, there's a the skip. Beautiful. And this guy! Well, that was a big waste of time, but I mean, I guess we didn't take a hit, so hooray. Beautiful. Okay, so we're at two misses now. And oh, what? What? How does that count as a miss? How does that count? But okay. Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't get why you'd ever use that. Oh, what? And then we get. I never really went over here. What? I was rolling, was I not? I definitely pressed Y. Um, those guys are just the worst to deal with. Sometimes it feels like you're a mile away and that guy comes at you, and then other times you're like right in his face. But okay, so back to this part again. <laughs> There's not much to say about this part once you've got it figured out. And yeah, I feel like every time I start commentating again, it's always around here, so... I got nothing to say about that, but we're getting somewhat better at falling down here and defeating both of those zingers with the invincibility, which is what you like to see. Now that porcupine dude, not too bad, and then that brings us here again. We gotta do split-second decision there. Um, and that's destroyed the run. Unless there's, like... Like, should we be trying to press through all these walls? The ice uh, tile set always was notorious for also having places that you can kind of go through. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think about the DK coin yet at this point. I feel like we just have to beat the level normally, and then that will kind of let us know. Oh, I wonder if I could... Can we use this and go this way? Nah, it's not going to last long enough at all. But, yeah, I feel like until we understand how the level works... What if I go through that wall? But yeah, I feel like beat the level normally, and then that will tell us if there's more for us to do, or if like the DK coin is just, you know, a nice present for successfully beating the speedrun. I would not complain about that. Uh, again, there's still a couple places near the end where, in our initial trip to that final area, where it looks like the target probably shows up, uh, that we didn't explore. And I was on my way to exploring one of them in the last really good run we had, and then I could swear I rolled into that porcupine guy, and it still did not count, but wow, okay. And, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have Diddy for this part. Sure, why not? Uh, now we get no music, which is really strange, and I messed up that skip. Not really that significant of a skip, though. So it's like, I don't think it's worth worrying about that much. Cool two and one there. And yeah, this is, this is strange doing this with Diddy and not Dixie. We need to remember that. Especially, like, here. And I gotta do, like, a roll jump there. Okay, and then... Skip that guy. No, no, no. Oh, hey, I actually still got both of them, even though I kinda messed up. Okay, okay, okay. So, you're still just at two misses. That brings us to this awkward spot where you gotta not get hit by him going backwards. 
and oh, the ice tile set and it's weird clipping into the walls stuff okay so there that's good that's good um hmm like the barrel definitely helps in regards to getting around those awkward corners but i feel like it's also you're just asking for trouble if you use it too Like, trying to predict when that guy's gonna come after you. I think it's probably because he's on a slope. Maybe that messes up with, uh, you know, when the game determines if you're in his line of sight or not. But yeah, I just feel like, you know, I'm right in his face. Why are you not attacking me? And then it just messes up everything. But I guess we'll see what we can do with Dixie here again. Oh, and then I, I botched that. I was too busy thinking, all right, hang to the right. You gotta go to, like, the left, right, left, right, 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 left. And then that happens. But okay. Oh, well, three lives. So I guess we gotta do a little bit of life farming. And then we'll get back to business. I guess if I really wanted to save time, you know, I would come into the level with two Kongs and already have Diddy in front because both opening up that DK barrel and uh, switching partners wastes like a second. So if we lose the level by a second, I'm totally going to blame that. And like, I think it's because it's just barely starting. It's like turning animation. Which means that even when I roll into it, I still take damage. It's just not fun dealing with those guys. And trying to guess, alright, when are they get a turn? Uh, but, no, it's all part of the game, I guess. Uh, we'll get... S I feel like the winning run is not far away. It's just a matter of, again, perfecting this beginning part and not messing up the later parts. And doing silly things like that. This guy, too. Like, it's way easier to deal with him as Dixie. But at the same time, it wastes time just switching partners. I mean, I should have just kept Dixie out because I always switch back to her here anyway. Uh, so I probably wasted, like, five seconds at this point just from switching partners. Oh, and then again, that... You know, turning animation got me there, but we left the flitter, so it's all good. Just if I fall now, no, even if I fall, depending on where I land, we could still be good. Okay, so there's my third miss then. Accidentally missed that guy. Mm -mm. Okay, well, actually, even though I've messed that up. Yes, interesting. Mm, okay, so this is really bad, but it will give us a little bit of a chance to explore this part of the level. Okay, so like that and that is not bad, but this part over here. Like, okay, so nothing in particular is really special about that area. But you can't kill that guy. So, like, that has to be one of your misses? So, that's two misses plus that guy makes three. So, is that really? Like, is every other enemy defeatable? Again, I, we didn't play the uh, ending part of the level enough for me to remember exactly what's possible there. But, okay, we'll have to keep in mind then that you cannot make any additional mistakes up to that point. Or, like, you know, any mistakes after, I guess, either. And now, once again, it's that eerie time when we're playing the level without music. You, and that brings us here. Okay, we're more consistently getting to this part, which I like. Now, last time we missed this crook. Again, I've probably flailed around too much for this to be a winning run, but it's good practice. Okay, so you can do that. Immediately do that. Um, oh, I mean, I was kind of stuck inside the wall. I don't know if I agree with that. Again, why does that thing clip into the wall so badly? Okay, okay. Um, so let's not... Oh, I was going to say, let's not actually, like, worry about every enemy, and let's just kind of scout out up ahead, which we might actually do anyway. Now that I think about it, let's just do a run where we really have a look at that last part, uh, part of the level and see, you know, is are those the three enemies that you're allowed to skip? Or is there something I'm missing somewhere? Or am I just, you know, under, uh, misunderstanding uh, completely what the level is asking of me, which is very still possible at this point. Aha, but with both partners, we can just do that. Okay, so I have not been defeating every enemy, um, so that's why I have so much time here. So, so this would be the third enemy that we don't defeat. Can I defeat every single other enemy that we encounter? Like, okay, yes, I could defeat you if I do this. 
Okay, and you're easy enough to defeat. Anything behind you? No. And then... How do I... You know, hmm. Actually, I probably have to go backwards here with this. Okay, so... Still, we're only at three misses, assuming we do everything correctly. And then that brings us here. Okay, so that's it. We have actually figured it out. Assuming again that we're understanding everything correctly, uh, we've deduced which three we can easily miss. Uh, and then we just have to literally defeat every single other enemy. So it's not so much like three faults. It's like there are three enemies that are just literally impossible to defeat. So I would change the terminology there a little bit. But again, I'm sure that mashing all those words into like this tiny little sign is probably not so easy either. Don't make it like a Super Mario Brothers X level where everyone includes like 300 pages of essay uh, in their level. I'm not sure why they think that like that's a good idea. Uh, when I play my platformers, it's not usually because I'm excited, you know, to experience a novel along with it. I'm trying to think of like platformers I've played that are also kind of text heavy. Uh, but here we go. This is just kind of a big mess up going on here. Uh, but yeah, we've pretty much figured out what it is that we have to do. Now we just have to do it perfectly. And again, since I'm pretty much going for the victory run at this point, like, I don't feel like there's really much more exploration or trial and error required. Uh, anytime I encounter, you know, like, a, a blip like that, a mistake that costs quite a bit of time, it's more, makes more sense to just kind of, you know, end that run and try again from the start. Oh, that was not so great. Trying to cut corners and do certain things, and whoa, totally messed that up. Yeah, I guess that counts as, you know, having to, to sacrifice this run. I'm worried about the location of the DK coin. Again, I don't want to worry about it too much until we've actually beaten the level and, you know, seen exactly how things proceed from there. There could be a second half for all we know. Maybe there is no target. Maybe just after you've beaten them all, you can go through that door or something. And then there's a second half. Uh... My guess is that it's probably a, like a target appears. It feels like a target kind of area. I don't know why, but I mean, I guess because usually, like, that was, that's kind of weird. And I mean, I've missed that guy now, so we do have to sacrifice ourselves here. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it does feel like, you know, there's that door behind the target that doesn't normally do anything, except it's where they run out after they beat the level. That's definitely the impression I'm getting from that area. So I think it's probably just going to be that a target appears. Uh, but I mean, it's also, again, totally possible that there's a second half, so it's why I'm not going to exhaust too many... You know, out there options yet in terms of figuring out how a DK coin might be hidden because I mean it's, it's technically actually like not a DK coin being hidden unless of course you know it's different than the original game which you know <laughs> it could totally be from what we've seen in this hack at this point uh, it would actually be a bonus game which would have the DK coin in it but I guess we'll have to see about that Okay, every time I get there, I try to do like a tiny jump to save time. Instead of doing this massive jump and then having to land from it, do a jump that's just high enough to get up onto that ledge. And every single time I try to do that, I always end up spending way more time like watching it than I would have, you know, wasted if I had just done it a full jump to begin with. But okay, so we just get that guy, that guy. All right, so far so good. Here. I think we want Diddy here. Okay. Very good, very good. Oh, oh, that thing where you get stuck inside the wall, it feels awful. And then that happens. Okay. Oh, oh, and then she gets stuck inside the wall again. Why are walls in this level so bad? Okay, let me get these hyper guys to the right here. Okay, okay, okay. And that's the one that you can't defeat. Okay, so we're actually not going to have enough time. Hmm. What am I doing so wrong that I'm losing a lot of time, I wonder? That's interesting. Like, where could I save? Probably like 15 seconds I would still need almost. Because you have to go up there, get an invincibility barrel, even like backtrack a little to get some zingers and then still make your way to the top. So there was still quite a bit to do.
It would be really funny if you beat the level twice and like empty sis forgot to reset the counter to zero. So it had thought that we, you know, defeated enough enemies to actually beat the level. It's almost worth trying, <laughs> just in just in case there was a programming, uh, you know, mistake there, which can happen. Uh, programming mistakes are definitely a thing that everyone who has, you know, ever programmed has done at some point. And I'm not sure why I got hit there. Like, I feel like the time just wasted switching partners is probably a big part of it. Like, again, we've gone over. I could probably save, like, five seconds if I just never did that. But then there's definitely parts where it feels like you want to use one Kong over the other. But I guess I should just be practicing then beating the whole level without switching. I also feel like this part wastes, like, a lot of time. But I feel like you have to do it. Like, there's no other way to, like, do that faster, I don't think. And, like, here's another second gone by switching partners. And then this part sucks. Oh, and then you get stuck in the wall. Like, oh, it just feels so bad. And then you get stuck on that corner. Like, sometimes you can clip, like, three feet into the wall. And then other times, it's like, if a pixel of you touches it, you're getting jammed inside it. The ice tile set just does not know what it wants. Can you roll into these guys from the back? Like, that's something I feel like I need to know. What a weird glitch that is. I feel like, like, that's that's too weird that she was using the wrong animation to float there for a little bit. Like, I need to know, can I defeat you from behind? It's something I've never really thought about. Because, see, they usually turn around, right? But for some reason, it feels like sometimes they don't. Uh, and that could save a couple seconds, I guess. I guess another way to save a couple of seconds. Oh wait, no, there's no start select. I was gonna say, get the barrels, switch partners, start select, and then just try again with Diddy in front in both partners, which would save you the time of switching and getting the DK barrel. But no, no start select, so uh, I'm not going to return to world three every time just to get a DK barrel and then switch partners. And again, I think it's just because I always try to roll the second that the porcupines turn in the round, which means it's a hit on me, despite the fact I'm clearly still rolling into its face. Uh, but yeah. Like, let's see here. Can I roll into this guy? No, because he turns around. Uh, um, okay, so, anyway. Maybe you could do it, but it doesn't seem like the timing is as ideal as I thought it was going to be. So I actually just made a really big realization. Uh, and that's, I think I'm doing that part halfway through the level incorrectly and now oh, I just I thought I pressed Y there but I guess the game didn't like that the part where you do the directional barrels up to the top and then I jump down and get the zingers and then I try to miss the flitter why do I go down the left side could I not go down the right side and then back up the left side like I feel like I'm probably doing that wrong now that I think about it uh, I'm not sure how I got into the mindset of doing it one way but it's possible I'm just not thinking correctly uh, and then, wow, I'm just flailing all over the place again. But, I mean, I guess we could still practice that. Okay, so, I'll get back to that part, and we'll see how it works. But, I, it's totally possible I've been doing that wrong, and then that would be the time that we need to beat the level. Okay, so we don't actually have to go get those guys. So, like, if we do this, and then we do this, like, I always go down the left. What if I went down the right instead? Okay, so if I'm a little bit faster, I think that works. And is it possible that I was actually always missing three zingers on the right side and not two like I thought it was? So it's totally possible that I've been thinking about this all wrong. Uh, but, okay, I think that we've had a revelation here. And so maybe we can actually miss three enemies of our choice. That changes everything. Huh, now we actually get to kind of choose, you know, which three are the best ones to miss. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I've been looking at this wrong, uh, which, you know, <laughs> it happens from, from time to time. And I didn't get the bounce there I wanted, but again, it only saves like a second, which, considering how many we waste on other things, and again, that was, should totally have counted towards me. 
but you know, maybe we want to skip that guy. I guess it's something we can totally consider going forward. But okay, I think that I was looking at this part of the level wrong. But the important thing is that we figured it out now. Yeah, I guess maybe I was missing three. Interesting. Oh, yeah, again, it's totally possible if I'm just a little bit faster there. Uh, and then that would mean that I have every single enemy in that area defeated. Uh, there's that one zinger a little bit later on that does a ring around the barrel that it looks like you have to skip. But otherwise, it gives us two enemies of our choosing. I'm, t I'm leaning towards those two porcupine ones that move really fast around the three-quarter waypoint. I'm feeling like not dealing with those two would save us some much needed time. Uh, but yeah, I'm just curious like how much time we're going to save by doing that part where we fall down correctly. But okay, here, um, oh, this is, this is bad, this is bad. There, okay. Like, I could skip you too. Yeah, those guys have always had weird hit detections if you ask me. Even in, like, the original game, I just never enjoyed dealing with them. But alright, so... Again, you know, it's funny, I was always like, Oh, I have nothing to say about this part, we've done it like 4,000 times, and yet, I was always doing it wrong. Um, okay, so I actually missed the guy there. So that's actually gonna be two. So that means... Hmm, 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 hmm. There's obviously some more, uh, practice that's needed here. How many lives was that that I still had? Wow, okay, only only four. So I guess we'll do some life farming and then practice that a bit, and we should be getting close now. Oh great, so now we have inv invincibility sound when we might not even actually be invincible. It's getting to that point where the game is just... I really don't know. Like, it is just... Something happens as you play the game and as sound effects play that eventually they start glitching out after playing it for an hour or so. And, like, you know, I've had long playing sessions of the original game and not seen this happen. So I'm not sure what it is about ROM hacks that just make it more prone to happening. Maybe because it's, like, you know, crazy, there's always more going on. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just funny when that happens in this game. Like, now there's no invincibility sound effect at all. And now it's playing even though I'm not invincible. Perfect, yes, okay. So we've gotten every enemy so far. And we both have Kong, we have uh, both Kong still, which is nice. Okay, so we can still miss some enemies. Don't get stuck inside that wall. Okay, it's fine. We can do a thing like that. I mean, I could always use a team throw to even, like, defeat the flitters, too. But all right. Okay, so I can skip those two to the right, and we can't defeat you. So now I have to defeat every enemy. But you know what? That's fine. Let's, let's do this thing. Get that one. Go here. This is a part where it's, like, just go through Maze Town. Oh, no! I forgot about that crook. But I feel like we're still short for time. By the time I get up here, I'd have to run all the way here, get this barrel, go back. We're still, like, what do you think? Almost, like, 10-ish uh, seconds short, huh? Like, I guess switching partners could be a chunk of that. I mean, we're starting right now with Diddy, plus we didn't need to get the DK barrel. So that's going to save a second or two. But, yeah, I guess we still need to be a little more perfect. Trying to be too fast, and <sighs> again, those weird ice graphics corners that you sometimes clip through, sometimes don't. Ugh. Getting there, though. This level is very much... I'm not even actually holding Y anymore when she was doing that. Very much like the cask task of the Lost World, where you're not being chased by, like, a rising green floor, but you're still very much doing these precise inputs while climbing upwards, so it's interesting in that regard. I definitely don't have anything against this level. It's definitely a very fine level. Uh, I'm just very curious what's going to happen when A, we finally get to the end, and you know, B, it comes down to 
trying to get the DK coin. Is that? No, that's definitely not faster. I wonder if, as Diddy, if I could, like, do a roll instead of bouncing there. And I still, in my head, it just feels like it should be a level where you can start and select to try again. Again, I was floating there for some reason, which just, I don't know, it feels like, why? I don't think that ever happened before. Whoa, that was a really high jump. I don't know what it is about this level though. It feels like the controls are not doing what I think they should do and the game is doing weird things. Something just really cursed about Crimson Cavern. Should I be checking the cranky hint, do you think? Like, I'm almost kind of tempted to, to see what he has to say. Shows to Donkey Kong for carrying barrels as long as he could for all you ungrateful frogs. Oh, I don't even have any money. Again, this is one of those crazy levels where just money does not exist, so I guess there goes that theory. No hint for us. I always just want to, like, again, there's, and, and nothing, like, I was not holding anything as she was floating there. I didn't have Y held, I didn't have B held, my thumbs were off of the controller, and she was doing this weird slow float. Something is just odd about this level. I don't understand why, again, sometimes it seems like that guy will come after you when you look at him. And then other times, you could be standing like a centimeter away and he just has no interest. But I guess that means we need to make up for that then. We've missed one enemy so far, remember that? Now that was good. So we've missed two enemies now. And a third one is required later on, so remember that as well. Uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting run. Can we even do it with Dixie? There's so many parts that we do with Diddy here. So far, so good. Okay, okay, okay. Mmm, I thought I rolled into that guy. Hmm, that's kind of an interesting skip. I mean, I think about it. Like, that probably saves a, a couple seconds? Like, that's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, if you can pull it off properly. I just wish there was an easier way to deal with this guy. Such a time waster. Now, I'm gonna do that on purpose, but... Huh. Yeah, I mean, again, there's one enemy, that one zinger that goes in the circle that I don't see any way to defeat that, which gives us two enemies that we can skip. And I feel like maybe there's more strategy required than initially it seems on which ones you need to skip in order to save time. Like, that's pretty darn cool, I have to admit. So that's one enemy missed. And we're like 77 seconds after jumping on that guy. Okay, so that's a second enemy, and that means we need to get every other enemy now. Except for the one that we have to miss. So we'll see, we'll see how this fares, if we even make it past this part. Ooh, that was really close. Okay, so here we go. And her float actually makes that part a little bit easier. And again, you could see I was doing the spinning animation. Why didn't I get the hit? Well, that was really good. Yeah, that part feels a lot better with Diddy than it does with Dixie. <laughs> Since when does that happen? Mm, I wonder if, like, it doesn't, unfortunately it doesn't seem like it's possible. That'd be amazing if it was though, like, oh, can you do like the big boy? How does it work again? I wonder, how, like, 
Hmm. 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 Like, I I feel like you probably could do it there and get a skip. I just don't remember exactly how it works. Is there a level I can practice that? Oh, yeah, you can't start select. Ugh, someday I'll learn. Hmm, how does it work again? Like, it's definitely like you hit an enemy. No, hmm. I figured, it, are you standing on the ground? Yeah, that's right. I'm jumping when I hit the, uh, the cutlass. But you're supposed to just be on the ground, I think, when you hit him. And then you mash B while the partner's on the way back to you. And then you get, like, a mega jump out of it. I think that's it. And I feel like if I did that, I could probably save another few seconds there. Plus, I would get the cutlass kill, which would give me more leeway later, which would be, re uh, which would be really nice. All right, well, still, this gives us a chance to try a couple things anyway. Like, let's try the big boy here. Actually, it's probably not going to be very obvious if it works or not. Hmm. I mean, you can't do that. He gets to throw his hook through the wall, but I can't throw a partner through the wall. All right, so let's go and check out just what... Cranky's hint is, and we're also, of course, going to farm for a few lives as well. Uh, so I'll see you once we're done that. I think 20 should hopefully be enough. Come on, we can't be that far. Uh, and then let's get a couple of coins here. And let's see just what Cranky has to say. The main thing I'm curious about is... Like, is he just gonna say something in relation to, like, you know, beat the level and you'll get the coin? Or, you know, do you think it's actually hidden somewhere amongst all that junk? One <laughs> no one mentions his casserole. I swear, I told people I would mention it. Uh, Crimson Cavern. I really... I know how to perform a really cool spin on ice. Ha! Sorry, what did you ask? Like... Based on that, it's either just like, it's a silly hint because, you know, it's like a freebie when you beat it, or it has something to do with rolling somewhere. Uh, but again, I'm not gonna worry too much about that until we've at least beaten the level normally once. And then we can do the, uh, uh start select. Oh, I'm so looking forward to that. Whoa! So that's the trick! The invincibility, if used properly, can last long enough to defeat that cutlass. Oh, it should have been obvious. But wow, is that a time saver. Okay. Okay, I feel like we must have just about all of the pieces now to really put this all together. And unfortunately, we just missed that guy. So that makes two so far. Meaning that the one that's circling around that barrel later on is three. So we have to hit every enemy now for the rest of the level. Which, we'll see. How does that go? And... <laughs> oh, wait! Okay, you can't actually sneak back down there. Um, okay. Okay, well, that was probably the best we've ever done that part. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. So we can't defeat you, but everything else can be defeated. So let's do this, let's do this. So over top... Yep, yep. <sighs> Whoa! Okay, hey, is there enough time though? I feel like, like, look at all this. It's just like, oh, and then you don't have Diddy speed, which helps so much. <laughs> so close, so close though. I feel like, wait. So I died, but I didn't die? That's kind of weird. But I feel like we've pretty much probably put all the pieces together now, which is really nice, so... Yeah, it's just a matter of getting it all down to a science. And not using Dixie for parts like that. Um, I'm still really curious if Empty Sis did remember to reset the counter when you go into that bonus uh, area there. And I'm messing this up, but, you know, we won't check that out today. We also won't attempt to break Empty Sis's level. I'm sure that he remembered to do that. But, it's, you know, it's happened in games before. Where, like, I think it's uh, even in Mario Sunshine, the coins in Delfino Plaza. 
And you forget to reset it back to zero after you collect the shine there. So like you can just get ridiculously high numbers of coins. Like, all right. I'm excited to see just what we can do with this now. Yes! Like, all oh, that feels so good to pull off after I was just not enjoying that part for so long. But all right, so one enemy missed. One enemy missed. Don't forget that. Let's try to get all these guys. And, like, the question is, what's the other enemy we should miss if we if we have the option to? Like, we could miss that guy. I feel like, you know, it's probably not the best use of that miss, but... Like, these two guys here kind of suck. Yeah, yeah, because that one turns back around so quickly. I was hoping to just kind of get them two in one go there. Hmm, what should we use as the third enemy? Oh, okay. Well, that's the end of that run then. Yeah, if you don't get that jump perfectly, it's just like, there's no point. Well, I mean, if I do that, which actually there's probably not much reason to not do that, now I can skip two. And if you can skip two, you can skip the two porcupine guys that are kind of just isolated off to the right side of the screen, and I feel like that's a nice time saver right there. So maybe that's what we'll do from now on. We'll try to do that. Good. I'm gonna jump backwards for some reason. Like, alright, so we go up here. You guys are not fun to Now we don't have to go to the right at all. And that's that's a nice little time boost right there. Now we can do it here. Do that. Oh my god. Don't forget about this guy. Okay, this could- this- I- 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 am really scared, but this could be a good run. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Okay, what? Where? Hi. Wow, okay. Is this gonna be a bonus game? Don't make me have to replay the whole level every time I want to try a bonus game. Destroy them all. Oh my god, it's just a filter to see if you got there with both Kongs! Oh my goodness! And that's only halfway! So now I can't... <laughs> I was like, oh, it's gonna be nice to take a break. But no. One fruit? No, one fault. Uh, <laughs> is, the, is the water raising at all? So there's no time limit. Oh, there is a time limit. Never mind. Okay, but we got the DK coin. That's huge. If I die, I'm going to save immediately. One fault allowed. So, like, how do you even defeat that guy? Or that guy? Where did I miss an invin- Oh, do we have to, like, go from top to bottom, do you think? Like, is there going to be an invincibility barrel? I have to go backwards? Like, that's the impression I'm getting here. Is that it wants me to do a thing like this. And then I should have had enough time to get to that. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm still just kind of recollecting myself here. I wonder if this is going to be a case like Cask Task where the second half is not as bad as the first half. Like, let's scout this out. Like, how much invincibility can you have to only miss one of these guys? Is that an invincibility barrel here? Yes. Okay, so there's all this stuff. Again, I'm using invincibility in places where it probably wouldn't normally be accessible because you have to go back. But okay, I'm gonna get money and save. And in doing that, it's going to reveal just how long I've been playing, which is longer than I'm proud. Oh god. 
This level scares me because, of course, it's where the, uh, you know, the legendary power outage happened. But yes, yes, whatever you have to say, let's just save. That DK coin is locked in. Oh, 39.09, and we still have a half to go. Hopefully, I don't think that leaving the Lost World and going into uh, Ceaseless Chase and getting that coin should have removed my checkpoint. It would only do that if I collected another checkpoint. But Crimson Cavern, please be halfway, please be halfway, please be halfway. I mean, after we figured out the whole Cutlass part, uh, it became much easier. But, you know, again, okay, so let's just, let's just have a theoretical look here. do that and I was wrong so I was wrong about the target appearing in that area at the end uh, part of me did start to wonder you know maybe you can just go in the door and then that's where the bonus game will be we've seen it before in the, like I think mind over metal where the bonus game is just one of the cannons that you take uh, you know have to go into to proceed uh, and if you mess it up you have to like replay the whole level which wasn't always fun but like hey okay, cut list which doesn't look like it's probably gonna be so fun to deal with like wow this goes really high considering how much time it gives you now, uh, is this the top? No, it's still not the top. And that, wow, there was, I did not expect him to freeze there. So that's not on me. But you have to do a lot in not very much time. And that is a one, right? Or is it like a seven? Is if it's a seven, I could get behind that. Okay, so let's, let's just try and do a real run this time. And I guess, again, we're going to have to strategically discover who the fault... <laughs> This wonderful tile set and it's beautifully not broken interactions. I feel like Dixie is probably the Kong we want here. Just because there's a lot of weird, awkward, long jumps. So I'd have to like, do that, do that, and that. Okay, then the trick is to not fall through the bottom, probably. But then like, there's long jumps, but then there's high jumps too. And there's not one Kong who's good at both of those. Maybe there's like secret Kitty Kong unlockable. It's like super, you know, he's buffed up since last time. What is with like this section here? I don't know. There's, there's a lot going on that I don't quite understand. And I was hoping to use that guy to destroy myself, but all right, what happens if we run out of time now? Hopefully it just takes us back to the beginning of the second half and not the first half. But yeah, there's a lot that we still need to discover in this half for sure. Like, you get way less time, and yet it doesn't seem like it's any less complex, which scares me quite a bit. So is this just going to take me to the second half? Yes. Oh, and you can get another uh, checkpoint barrel, if that's something you for some reason want to do. It's, it's also interesting that the clock on this one doesn't start until you get to, like, the second floor here. And that's just weird to time, but okay. So, yeah, got a weird jump with Dixie. Again, I'm just going to try and get to the top because I just want to see, even if I don't worry about enemies, just how much time do I have left when I get up there? See how, like, this is a not a jump that feels all, uh, you know, all that great with Diddy. I really should have gotten the invincibility barrel. There was no reason not to. Uh, I was just, you know, avoiding things and then accidentally avoided that as well. And this is where the guy comes, but you can kind of do a thing like that. Uh, and we're getting, uh, there's going to be like one of those weird green cannons coming up. Those guys aren't fun and that just came from completely off screen. Uh, I feel like Diddy is who you want because still he's just faster and more nimble in every way. Uh, even if there are those times where it's like kind of a long jump with him, I feel like just do a thing like that and you're good. But okay, so like this. Wow, I did not expect to actually cartwheel over the guy. But sure. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. There goes a second of time waste. And I don't know why I got hurt there. Alright, so, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of room for improvement there, but I think that's every enemy so far. Like, you, you are going to be the one that I skip because you suck. But then, is there an invincibility? Where, how do you... Those guys. Like, this invincibility here is for all of them? 
Huh, you actually run down the hill pretty fast. Is there enough time to get the Cutlass too? No. Maybe, if I'm faster. But maybe we don't skip that one then. Ugh. Still. <laughs> there was a part of me that was like, it's only gonna be, you know, there's no checkpoint in this level, but uh, no. It's the Lost World. You bet there's a second half. Oh wait, yeah, I should have totally gotten that guy. Oh, I was hoping to do Dixie here, or Diddy here, because I feel like, like if you're really fast, you can probably still get the Cutlass, but maybe we should just do that as our free pass right now. Well, if only it was still you could skip three, because one seems really tight. All right, so far I'm actually really happy with how this first portion's gone. Uh, and then I botched the whole thing. But again, I mean, there's no reason to... I can still experiment a little. I still haven't seen the end. At least it's nice to know we don't have to worry about any more bonuses, I guess. You try to be so fast, do everything so right, and that happens. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, if we just play the level normally, eventually, uh, keep coming here. That guy's really f like, so, if I only made it this far, I could swear I made it farther than that. But then I feel like I was also defeated by that cannon. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this part before. Um get stuck. Is this the end? Oh my goodness. I think it is though. So okay. Okay. And this has to be the target. The target's definitely going to appear in that spot. For some reason I thought the first half or so was a lot longer. I guess it's just when you're messing around and not doing things correctly it comes across that way. But okay. I'm starting to get the hang of this one too. And again, the fact that it's only 65 seconds and not 95 implies that this half is shorter, which I'm not gonna complain about that. And then you clip through the side that looks like you should have been able to stand on it just fine. All right, you don't wanna be right against the wall there because you'll clip into it. It seems like the right side of the walls is a lot more problematic than the left. Okay, so we're gonna actually retry this one. So as of now though, still, I'm gonna use that cutlass as my freebie. <laughs> like, look at it. Okay, let, let's let's finish this right now. Okay, maybe both sides are the same, but like, I am literally clipping, like, so far into that wall. Like, he's actually standing really nicely on the edge right now. I'm surprised. I don't know. Am I the only one who thinks that this tile set kind of has some shenanigans going on? Oh, four lives. Okay, so before we get game over and do have to replay the first half, I guess we'll have to do just a little more life farming. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I definitely rolled into the front of an enemy and it does not register as such. Because I think what happens is you want to turn back in the opposite direction so quickly. So, like... Ugh, this is, this is not the run. So, like, in that case, I'm rolling into the crook. I'm holding right. But then I'm going to want to turn back to the left. So, I press left on the D-pad to turn back. But I do it before I hit the crook. So, for some reason, that registers as, like, I get damaged by the crook. I don't know exactly how it works. But uh, I think that's probably something about what happened. Like, there, now I can press left. And because it's Diddy, you gotta do a few of these weird, long, awkward jumps. But yeah, they're not so bad. I know I said that, you know, like, you know, Dixie's probably better for this half. I feel like they're both fine. They both have their reasons that they're not so bad. And also that they're kind of bad. Part of me wonders if I could have still got the cutlass, but it's best that we just left it for now. You come down here, okay. 
Okay, so that's the first time we've actually like defeated that guy. Oh, there's a second Cutlass. Well, I don't like that, but he wasn't that hard to defeat. Okay, we have 12 seconds. I feel like this is the end, is it not? Yes! Yes! I just didn't panic. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Is it ran out of time after I beat the level? And we saw that after it ran out of the time after I died, it didn't register as a death, but... <sighs> wow. Yeah, the second half, just like cast task, way easier than the first half. And I totally lucked out having both partners on my first try, or rather on my first time beating the first half. Or we would be, uh, you know, replaying that right now, trying to get that. <sighs> but just like Cask Task, it took a while, but, it, you know, it was overall smooth sailing the whole way through. And that takes us to the second level down of the Lost World. And once again, Cranky's Hint. to perform a really cool spin on ice like it's either he's just trying to you know or, or maybe maybe there's a way to defeat that porcupine guy with just one partner if you do like a, a certain special kind of uh, roll into it i'm not sure what he's getting at but by having both partners we could do a team tag we got through it no problem and yeah that's another level down now let's get these two coins please power do not go out i should always get money ahead of time just in case but with that we are now up to 39 hours and 21 minutes 45 creme coins 43 dk coins 91 percent with three levels and the true final boss to go thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time for the third level of the lost world so thanks and see you later Thank you so much once again for checking out my videos, I really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it really helps my channel out. With that said, hope to see you next time.